So this is probably my new favorite bike tool. It's the new version of the Feedback Sports Range click type torque wrench. And over the past few months, it's gradually replaced some of my other go-to torque wrenches. Well, one in particular. In this video, a rundown on all the things I like and dislike about this tool, and one thing that I might change about it. So for starters, this is a click style torque wrench as opposed to a beam or a digital torque wrench. Now it's got, in my opinion, the ideal usable range of two to 14 Newton meters, which really covers like 95% of all instances where you'd want to use a torque wrench on a bike. Now the older version of this tool maxed out at 10 Newton meters, which was a little bit of a bummer because there are several torque specs that are just a little bit more than 10 Newton meters. Things like crank arm pinch bolts, some chain ring bolts, saddle pinch bolts, some brake calipers, and even some derailleur mounting bolts. Can't be. Now while most lower torque fasteners typically are 12 Newton meters or less, the 14 Newton meter max torque of this new wrench keeps the tool more comfortably within the middle of its range and avoids going to the absolute maximum torque where accuracy can start to drop off. Now, I also really like that this tool is small compared to torque wrenches of similar spec. Now, the actual footprint of this tool is small, but also the head itself is slim and compact, which is nice for getting into tight spaces. Many other torque wrenches of similar range have a head that's considerably larger, which can make it tough in some scenarios. Now, setting the torque on this range torque wrench is really easy. You just have to turn the knurled knob at the base, and there's a fairly easy to read scale on the side of the tool. Now, of course, it's not going to be as precise as a digital torque wrench, but definitely precise enough for most bike applications. Now, I have to say that using this tool has been really enjoyable as well. The build quality is top notch. It's an all metal construction with no plastic bits to be found. Now, because it's a small tool, you might be inclined to kind of grip the whole tool by the handle while torquing a bolt, but actually in order to apply the desired torque, you do actually need to hold the wrench from just the silver knurled section here. Now this can take some time to get used to, but I found it to be a non-issue after a couple of uses. Now if you don't believe that grip position matters on these click type torque wrenches, then you can give this video up here a quick watch. We go full nerd and mathematically show why it does actually matter for any click type torque wrench that has this little offset pivot. And as an aside, I just got this in the mail yesterday. It's a digital torque meter. And so I'm planning to do a comprehensive video about torque wrench accuracy and when grip position matters and when it doesn't. But that'll be for another day. Now, when using this particular tool, the click is a very satisfying one. It's very definitive when you hit your desired torque. Now, most click type torque wrenches have a definitive click, but actually recently my Park TW 5.2 actually stopped clicking audibly. And there's just kind of this vague yielding when the internal clutch slips. And it's actually been a little bit frustrating to use the tool. I even sent this back to Park for inspection and they just sent it right back to me saying it's normal and these wrenches may or may not audibly click, but it should still work fine. Now, to me, that's a little bit off-putting since I prefer to use the click style torque wrenches precisely because of their audible click, but I suppose that may just be a personal quirk of mine. Now the feedback torque wrench does click in both directions, which is pretty cool for any reverse thread bolts with a torque spec, but personally, I can't actually think of any reverse thread fasteners on a bike that require less than 14 Newton meters. I don't know, can you? Now the tool does come with an assortment of standard bits, as well as a few strategic extended bits, which actually come in handy. Now for me, the most obvious is when torquing drop bar brifters, which usually have the pinch bolt in a very awkward spot that can make torquing it to spec somewhat challenging. Now with my Park TW 5.2, I've got a snap on a series of extensions, otherwise the head of the wrench gets in the way and I can't really get good tool engagement. But with the feedback wrench, the included extended five millimeter and the compact head actually allows me to engage the bolt pretty easily and apply proper torque without all those extra extensions. Now, if there's one thing I'm not a huge fan of, it's the case that it comes with. Now, most torque wrenches come with a hard shell plastic case, but I do understand that the feedback wrench is small enough to be considered a portable tool that you might throw in a mobile toolkit. So for that reason, they decided to go with a soft tool wrap instead, which in principle is a great idea. It takes up a lot less space than a hard shell case and protects the tool decently well. Now, my only gripe with this particular case is that it's just a little bit too small. Now the bits fit fine in their respective elastic loops, but the tool holder itself is a little bit too finicky to be enjoyable. Now there are these two directional pair of flaps that kind of contain the whole kit, and the inner one is just barely long enough to reach, and the outer one is a pretty tight fit to get the buttons to snap as well. So I think I'd like to see a more traditional tool roll style soft case, 
or really just anything that doesn't require so much fiddling to get it to fit. Now, admittedly, this is primarily a shop tool for me, and so it's mostly not stored in the soft case, but I do occasionally bring it with me in a mobile toolkit, so an easier storage and protection solution would definitely make this better. So it's a great tool, and I really think feedback sports have come a long way in just the past few years. Their bike work stands are really gaining popularity and directly competing with Park, in my opinion. And I have to say that some of their tools are getting really good too. Now, the price of this little torque wrench also kind of reflects that feedback sports may be trying to compete directly with Park, as this will set you back $120 US in late 2023, which is actually roughly the same price as a comparable Park torque wrench. But I do actually think that this one is a better tool, and I'll be the first to admit that I was kind of surprised that I tended to prefer this one over the tried and true blue one. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you're considering getting one of these, or even the older version of this tool, which is currently on deep discount as a transition to the new one, you can do us a huge favor by using the affiliate link in the description. It doesn't cost you anything, and your purchasing experience is exactly the same. We just get a small kickback, which helps out a lot. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, we'll see you next time.